Hey, I'm Stefano Conti. Hi, I'm Caitlin Littlewood. And we are two of the participating artists in this group show titled We've Been Sent a Strange Sign, part of La Scuna Photo Festival. We're alumni from HDK Valand, the art institution in Gothenburg, Sweden. Today we would love to show you some of the work present in the space. The first work, The Wing Counter, is by Cecilia Penny, titled Roll Up Into a Ball, which is a map over Aarhus, Denmark, where Cecilia Penny lived when she was ill with depression in 2018. The viewer is drawn into five different animation of 3D scanned rooms, which were all central in her treatment, accompanied by text excerpts from psychiatric journals and personal notes from the period. Charlotte O'Hammer's All Shelters Are Marked with a Sign is a series of photographs taken with a Rolleiflex camera. It deals with questions about protection, existential threats, and fear. Hammer works locally on the small island where she lives. She often manipulates the images in order to create her own visual language based on the topics of her interest. Caitlin E. Littlewood. The K theory is a body of work informed by the Swedish sugar experiments that were carried out between 1945 and 54 at Vipeholm Hospital in Skåne, Sweden. The mixture of archival imagery and Littlewood's own studio photography examines new visual possibilities where the artist creates a recontextualized archive of teeth and the mouth. Frida Breide. In the project Stone Cream, Breide takes on one of the most common places in any town the parking garage. She asks herself how something we built for our needs is so charged with vulnerability. With the project, she wants to question the general discomfort that people feel when entering said building. The earliest, poppy. Poppies are annual, biennial or short-lived perennial plants. Some species are monocarpic, dying after flowering. Poppies have long been used as a symbol of sleep, peace, and death. Sleep because the opium extracted from them is a sedative, and death because of the common blood red color of the flower. In Ericsson de Vogue's Windows into Reality, we take part in an ongoing mail correspondence that the artist had with an inmate on death row in Florida. The opened envelopes are received letters, and the unopened are letters sent. The response received was from a person who was sentenced in the same year that the artist was born. Anna Antonsson, Hypnotic Trio. Using her archive as a starting point, Anna Antonsson explores the visual dialogue created when one picture is placed in relation to another. In the installation, Hypnotic Trio, the photographs and objects manipulate each other to develop new features and ways to communicate. Monica Balu, in close proximity, Yellow Series. While searching for ways to visualize sound and auditory perception, Monica Balu composes close-up photographs of objects related to audiology, which amplify or reduce sound volume. Getting closer to the objects reveals textures that are not seen by the naked eye, thus making the images touchable with vision. The color yellow is central to Balu's practice and is employed as a representation of struggle, as yellow text on white is uncomfortable to read. Oscar Kademark, Photographic Homecoming and Origins of Fathers. In Photographic Homecoming, eight photographs left behind by Kademark's parental grandparents are examined. The images show the artist's grandfather returning to his childhood home after 50 years. In Origins of Fathers, a work containing photographic fragments in black and white, the artist and his father visit the place where the original photographs were taken 25 years earlier. The house is a recurring symbol in Kademar's work. Themes like identity, masculinity, and interhuman relationships also reoccur. Lawrence Spencer, I Dream of Screens, mediates on the abstract nature of human connection in the digital era. Light-sensitive photographic paper, which is used in traditional printing processes, absorbs synthetic light from a smartphone screen, distilling the fleeting gesture of scrolling and swiping 
into a physical artifact. For Spencer, the smartphone is both invasive tech and an emotionally charged object through which intimate information passes. Emma Sandstrom's work, perhaps of ritual significance, examines mythologies and rituals in the pagan beliefs inspired by an online European folklore archive. The work centers around the fear of the unknown, specifically focusing on the myth of the werewolf. Sandstrom has visited sites connected to these myths, such as the only known werewolf grave in Europe, and places that have been used for rituals to transform humans into animals. She creates her own physical and fictitious archives around this subject by using photography, video, fan material, and sculpture. Elton Vogue, Huele Rotten. Texture and attraction play a significant role in Huele Rotten. Can photography activate the queer gaze within the spectator? And how is this affected by the viewer's encounter with a face? Beneath the vibrant colours and the glossy surface hides a trauma of never being able to truly escape your own body. Matilda Frickberry. In Kyrie Eleison, we are confronted with a set dinner table that has been abandoned. Are these the leftovers from a wild party? Or have the dinner guests suddenly been forced to flee, never to return? Kyrie Eleison is a common exclamation within the Christian Mass, translated to Lord have mercy, a cry for help and protection. Marie Floro Christensen, Lady Oracle. Once the garden was a place of contemplation, connecting the earthly with the divine. The fresh green grass served as a soothing balm for the monks to rest their weary eyes, and the cunning foxglove kept secrets about the weather and whispered them softly for the years of the boxwood and the sun chest. A mechanical buzzing noise. Lisa Sterner, stop posting shit. Petronella Oslund, curing chronic loneliness. By photographing her body, its surroundings and encounters Petronella Oslund discusses societal norms, beauty ideals, patriarchal structures in relation to longing and intimacy as activism. Grounded in the feeling of being undesirable and unworthy of romantic love, the camera is a tool with which she approaches others in search of intimacy. While reflecting upon the expectations forced onto women, she guides her viewer through deeply personal stories of dating, loneliness, body anxiety, self-realization, and the rush of falling in love. Anna Yarosh and Agatha Lewandowski, Sans Souci. The trace of absence in the installation occurs with an ungraspable feeling of dwelling. The room, taken over by Lewandowski's sound composition, constructs an asylum for Yarosh's uncanny objects. Their fragile form stands in direct opposition to the strength of the material that it is made of. The constantly alternating question of objective space becomes a threat to the understanding of reality. Large Dierndu. From Greenland to the Pacific, when the ice melts, porcelain figure and a polar bear. Large Dierndu is working with the subject of Denmark and Greenland's relation, which is characterized by colonial history. Today, Greenland is part of Denmark but despite having lifted their colonial status in 1953, Greenland is still not detached from the Danish influence. It also still seems like the perspective on Greenland and its indigenous people hasn't developed into an equal relationship. Josef Korbash, Searching for Sergei. The images in the photo book are based on the semi-fictional story following a Soviet astronaut who became stranded on the MIR space station on the Earth orbit during a major geopolitical change in December 1991. Meanwhile, a little boy who was stuck on Earth during the same time just experienced a nightmare, the anxiety of waking up from it, and the moment where he's fully aware of his own mortality for the first time. These two characters never met in real life. However, 
there is an imaginary connection between them that emerges in the work. The images themselves bring up existential questions rather than simply illustrate the event. Alexander Gustav Thompson, Glimmer. Gustav Thompson has made cameraless photographs by shining light through transparent wafers of the mineral muscovite onto light-sensitive paper. Muscovite is reminiscent of photographic negatives, thin, silvery, and of varying transparency. The resulting photographs reveal the ancient and intricate patterns of the landscape. Stefano Conti, When I Killed Your Tulips. By continuously rearranging objects in conversation with printed matter, Conti uses playfulness as a tool to investigate photography and its representation. Through a cross-disciplinary approach that intertwines photography, sculpture, and collage, he explores the limits of the photographic space and questions the perception of things taken for granted. Jenny Johansson, Techno Stone with DIY Net. Johansson works interdisciplinarily with collage in relation to material hierarchies and alternative history writing. In Techno Stone with DIY Net, the artist relates to the expression, nothing is carved in stone, and internet culture. The process has been characterized by thoughts about time, work, myth, and reality. The artist says that ambivalent encounters and precise fragments have been decisive for the creation of this artwork. Today, we scrolled us right down the line, reading about Indra's net, fake articles, and neon green turtles flying from the sky. August 11, 22, 22, 2020. Sophie Foscrem, be kind to me. Global warming and deconstruction of nature is central to Sophie Foscrem's work. Foscrem has used photographic film to capture vegetation in forests and parks, which she has then heated to manipulate, reform, and destroy their original appearance. The deconstruction of the photographic film becomes a metaphor for how the deconstruction of our living environment has devastating consequences. Matilde Sers Rasmussen, unprofessional. Matilde Sers Rasmussen has documented her career as a professional fashion model in Chinese megacities since 2012. In Unprofessional, she hired three filmmakers to create films from the same 25 hours of material and thereby complete the final artwork for her. Documentary film director Eva Marie Rodbro, musician and artist Kim Richard Adler Maydahl, and fashion photographer Fingal Lee. By losing control over her privately filmed material, Circe Rasmussen imitates the loss of control over her self-image experienced during a 12-year modelling career. While simultaneously dictating the process and giving up control over the result, she plays with ideas of ownership of both her artwork and her own body. Björn and Barry. Everything will be fine once we are all gone. We really hope you enjoyed this small guided tour and got inspired by some of the work. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram to get more details and information about each artist and their practices. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Bye. Bye.